Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill for Tuesday the 12th of September 2023 in today's Mill News. And I called it in yesterday's video. I knew I knew uh, the reason why Garrett was saying, oh, Bart's so great, Bart's the best. Like He was just unlucky to be successful. Well, because now we know we've got a little bit more information. Matija Sark is set to miss at least one or two games, which is not a surprise because next week we've got three games in a week. So if you're out for if you're out injured for a week, you're going to miss three games, which is uh, just how it goes, isn't it? I don't know why, but they as soon as the international breaks over, they want to cram in these games straight away. I don't know why. And then you get to something like March or April, and you're playing, you're barely playing any games. But hey. Uh, so this is southernnews.co.uk. Matija Sarkic set to miss at least one or two games as Mill boss hopes injury is not more sinister. Uh, the goalkeeper pulled out of international duty after an issue with his quad. So he didn't even go on international duty. Uh, he pulled out before that. Uh, so Matija Sarkic uh, will miss the weekend clash with Leeds United after picking up a quad issue uh, before the international break began. Uh, the goalkeeper pulled out of action Montenegro uh, before a ball had been kicked last week and Mill was still trying to evaluate how bad the problem is. Garrett said he hoped the issue is not more sinister than first believed. He said he felt a little bit of something in his uh, quad leading up to Birmingham, uh, got through the game, flew away to Montenegro with a little bit of discomfort and at the moment we're trying to get a really good evaluation of what it is. He's certainly going to miss one or two games. Uh, we're not sure whether it's a little bit more sinister than that at the moment. We'll find out. A bit of a blow as he's been excellent so far and obviously getting better and better. Uh, it's just one of those challenges. Sarkic's injury is the latest problem for a Lions team that are already dealing with knocks across the defensive line. Club captain Sean Hutchinson will likely miss the next two or three games due to a calf problem uh, that saw him substitute off against Birmingham City in the final game before the international break. The 32-year-old could be out for longer, but Rout said he did not like to put timelines on injury periods due to individual differences for each player. The Lions boss added, He's probably going to miss the next two or three games then. Uh, I don't think he'll be a million miles away after that. I think the initial prognosis uh, was somewhere between four to six weeks when he did it. And you're talking about a little bit more than a week ago since the game. It's always hard and I ever like to put timelines on it because everyone's different. Uh, some people come back quicker, uh, some come back slower. Sometimes players can shave a week or two off it. Sometimes it takes two or three weeks more. It is what it is, and sometimes the timeline can put pressure on a player that's not ready to uh, or slow down a player that is ready. On the bright side for the Championship Club, Joe Bryan could be back for Leeds United after a growing issue kept him out of the trip to St Andrews. Rowett well, said, Oh, he's starting to uh, integrate into training now. He's one that we'd hope to have back into full training and therefore be available for selection. Obviously, uh, we'll have to assess where he is fitness-wise. He hasn't missed too much time or too much action. So I don't anticipate too much of an issue uh, with that one. But again, we'll see what happens later in the week. Uh, but the Leeds match has come too soon for George Honeyman, who limped out of Mills opening pre-season game against Gillingham with a quad injury. Another quad injury, isn't it? Isn't that strange? There's so many quad injuries. But Rowan said he is fighting back. The Mill boss added, George Uniman has also started to join in with training. He's making good progress. So again, it would be great to have George back. He's missed a lot of football over the last six months. So it would be good to get him back, uh, but we want him to stay back rather than come back and be out again. Especially with the type of character that G is. He'll want, he'll, uh, he, he wants to work and go and uh, do everything before he's even capable of it. So, great to have another big character back, but holding him back a little, I think, is going to be sensible. It's an injury update there. So, we now we know why Gary Rout said what he said yesterday. Because against Leeds, Bart Biakowski will be starting, probably against Rotherham as well. Unless he, he is absolutely awful against Leeds, and then I imagine uh, there'll be calls to put Connell Truman in, there'll be calls to bring Joe Wright back from loan, there'll be calls to sign a, a free agent goalkeeper. Um, Bart, we love Bart. Bart was good back in the day, but I mean, he's he has to prove it now because the game against Reading was absolutely atrocious. He needs to come in and show something. He needs to perform. He needs to do something. Um, and we'll see how he does. But I mean, 
oh, it's it's not an easy game to come back into, is it? Um, and and it pressure's on him. Uh, the pressure is on, which is not uh, sometimes not the best. But now we know. Uh, so moving on to this from not Perry Gross. Uh, LondonNewsOnline.co.uk, South London Press's online website. Impressed me more and more. Mill boss highlights forward start to the season. So you can look how short this story is. Um, that's it. That's literally it there. Barely anything going on there. Um, Mill boss Garrett says the young forward Domu and Maku has impressed him more and more as the 23-24 campaign has gone a long. Maku, a 96-minute winner for the Island on the 21 side of a Friday evening in their Euro 2025 qualifying 3-2 victory over Turkey at Turner's Cross in Cork. The 19-year-old joined the Lions from Shamrock Rovers in December 2022 but suffered an injury at start to life at the end after picking up an interesting problem in the under-21 match. Uh, Maku has been involved with Rowett's first team since the start of pre-season, set a Romain essay in the opening day 1-0 win up at Middlesbrough. He also scored his first goal for the Lions in a 3-1 defeat at Norwich. He's a player that's just impressed me more and more as we've gone along, Rowett told the South Lions. He's another example of his ability to finish his step up to the level. He's been really impressive. He has had a really, really bright start to the season. I'm looking forward to seeing his clips from the Island match to see how he's fared. Um, so, yeah. Um, came off the bench uh, for Ireland, scored the winning goal, 3-2. Uh, played today. The last two of the International Lions featured today. Kevin Nisbet just sat on the bench for Scotland um, as they lost 3-1 to England, was it? And uh, Idomi Maku again came off the bench uh, in Ireland's game away uh, at home to San Marino. Uh, he came on in the 68th minute, but the goals had already all been scored by then. Um, so, there you go. And I guess, I'm guessing it's more of a different um, setup uh, for San Marino. I imagine they parked the bus, they tried to defend. Not uh, really much attacking going on. Um, so, it's probably harder for Imaku to get in behind them with his pace because. They're literally on their own goal line defending. But yeah, he came on, had another few minutes, and uh, that was that. Um, so there you go. That's it for the International Lions so far um, until October. So now they can come back, get out, get back in training, and we can start looking forward to the Leeds game on Sunday. Um, probably good for us that there's, there's an extra day off for us uh, Sunday morning at home. Don't have to travel, it's at home. Um, so it's all good, isn't it? It's all good. Now, we've got this. We're going to finish with this from Southern News. Okay? I can never let it go. Mills, George Savile reveals awkward Jose Mourinho running from his youth days at Chelsea. The Lions midfielder reflected on the assignment at Stamford Bridge and that memorable 4-3 win over Leeds United at Ellen Road during an appearance on Mills Club podcast. Uh, yeah, the Wall Talk podcast is back. First one back was a uh, John Berylson memorial, uh, and and this one, the, the next one up is a George Savile interview. Um, so yeah, check it out. George Savile has recalled an awkward moment he had with Jose Mourinho during his time at Chelsea. And the Millwall midfielder spent much of his youth career at Stamford Bridge as one of a number of talented young stars in the Blues Academy and development squads. While Savile, Savile never quite made a breakthrough into the first team, he did spend time with senior squad members at the 2012 Club World Cup in Japan after Chelsea won the Champions League the same year. Uh, manager uh, Roberto Di Matteo was sacked in the months following the European final, with Rafa Benitez taking interim charge until the end of that season. Uh, Mourinho would then return to the club for his second spell not long after, leading to an uncomfortable but funny exchange when Savile bumped into some senior players before a first-team meeting. He told Mill's podcast Wall Talk, I remember that summer I came in and they uh, were in the corridor and Mourinho was in charge. Uh, the English lads were all going into the meeting. Now I'm obviously a really young lad. Uh, they've seen me and we're all having a nice chat as you do. And Mourinho walked past with a dead straight face, just looked at me, didn't say hello, and just looked at me and said, what are you still doing here? And I was like, whoa, 
You know you could feel the heat and the English lads were like leaving. He's all right. I honestly felt that small. I was like, that's that hurt. That's stuck with me since. I can never let it go. Uh, Savile got the chance to reminisce with the Portuguese boss several years later when the midfielders club at the time middles withdrew Tottenham and the side Mourinho had recently taken charge of at the 2020 FA Cup third round. Savile said, when I was at Middlesbrough, we played Tottenham in the FA Cup and we drew it to Riverside and then played them at a new stadium in a replay. And I shook his hand uh, and I was like, do you remember me? And he actually said, yeah, I do. Uh, I was actually friendly. I said, do you remember that moment in the corridor? And he didn't care or didn't know, but I still had to get in. But he was really nice about it. At the time, he might have been joking or whatever, but because of the way it comes across. Uh, the 30-year-old also reflected on the always notorious 4-3 win against Leeds United in January 2018. The Lions had not won end away from home all season, uh, but their extraordinary victory that day would sure them come from a 3-2 down in the final minutes of the game, triggered a run of six away wins in a row, equaling a club record. Savile remembered the moment that game swung in Mills' favour when he was on the receiving end of a crunching First half tackle from Liam Cooper. The Leeds defender was sent off in spite of Savile's attempts to exaggerate how hurt he was not quite going to plan. He said, uh, so we're playing Leeds away. I don't know what the score was at the time. Liam Cooper, the centre half, taking the big touch and I've nicked it off him. And he's just come right through me and I've preempted it as I've seen it come and he's caught me late. It's not hurt me, but I'm rolling on the floor. And one of the lads says, stay down, stay down. As you can see the magnitude of what's going on. So I'm grabbing my left ankle, rolling around and milking it. Uh, PT's come on. He, he's running on and he's treating my other ankle without looking. I'm like, PT, it's my left ankle. So he's rubbing my right ankle. And I'm thinking, PT, it's the left one. I've got to the point where I literally, you can see it on camera. I just sat up and said, it's my left ankle. And he went, oh, you should have just told me. And that's, my that's in my top five games, easily off the top of my head. That's right up there. Um, so yeah, um, getting a story off of the podcast, um, yeah, check it out, interesting stuff, uh, going on, uh, on the podcast, uh, Wall Talk, uh, W-A-L-L-T-A-L-K, uh, separate words, two words, not, not one word, uh, and that's it, on that note, thank you for watching, and goodbye.